Howdy. That's all my friends today out there in YouTube land. I hope you're doing well. I hope that the weather is good where you are. And I hope that you're being creative and crafty today. Today, what I'm going to do here on the show is I'm going to show you how to prep a gourd to get it ready. I believe I'm going to try to make a birdhouse gourd out of this. We're going to uh, see how this works out for my plan. This is not a really big gourd. Let's see. We'll take a measuring stick to it. This, this measures about nine inches long and it's, oh, I'm going to guesstimate here that it is about four inches wide at the widest point of the bulb on the bottom of it. And this shape is what they call a birdhouse gourd. And um, we're going to make a birdhouse out of this. Now there's uh, quite a bit of preparation when you're working on a gourd. The first thing you got to do is you got to grow the gourd. Either that or you got to buy you one. And then you can get them if you buy them already prepped, it costs a little more because somebody's had to put the work into it to, to get it prepped, or you can prep them yourself. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is dry the gourd out, and that takes several months. You got to put it in a cool, dry place. You got to put it on some newspaper, and every week or so, you need to turn it a little bit so that it gets to dry out all over. You don't want to just leave it laying flat like this on a spot and then never move it because. Uh, as it dries, it might get flat on one spot of it, or it might um, collect moisture there and decide that it's going to rot. Um, so that's not a good thing. Then once you get them dried out, and you'll know what's dry when you can shake it and maybe you hear it rattle or you, you'll feel a definite difference in the, the texture um, weight of the gourd. Because as it dries out, it loses all the moisture in it and it's... Um, um, rattly inside all the, the seeds and stuff will rattle inside of them. Now, once the gourd is good and dry and you can tell, you know, look at this one on the outside of it, it's good and dry. These are not, um, like when you pick them now, when you pick them, they're, they're yellow, but as they dry out, they get this, uh, this black spotted stuff to them. It's not mold. It's just, uh, black spots that they get on them from drying out. And you'll want to take it to the sink and give it a good washing. I use steel wool on mine. I just scrub the dickens out of them. And then I set them up to dry, you know, just like you'd set dishes in a dish strainer and let them dry. And take a um, soft towel and wipe them off real good. And then once you get that part all done, they're ready to sand. So I've, just took a piece of Abernet. This is 400 grit that I used on it. And I've showed you my Abernet uh, uh, sand uh, cloth. I'll call it a cloth because it's not paper. Um, but you can get Abernet. You can order it a lot of different places. And it's a cloth that lasts a lot longer than what your uh, uh, paper, sand paper will do. And I sanded this because I didn't think you'd really want to see me sit here and sand on something. But, you know, just like any other thing, you just take sandpaper to it and sand it down real good. And that takes all the lumps and bumps and stuff off of it. Just kind of roughs up the surface of it a little bit. Then once you get it sanded, you're going to want to wipe it off because it's going to be dusty from you doing that. Now, my favorite way to wipe things down once I... Uh, sand them off, whether it's wood or gourd or whatever you're working with. I like to use a little paper towel and some alcohol. Just regular rubbing alcohol. And I put a little alcohol on my, my paper towel. Put the lid back on the alcohol so I don't spill it. Set it off to the side over here. And then got some alcohol on here and I just wipe it down. And that picks up any dirt it picks up any um, sanded skin that I've skinned off of it with the sandpaper. And it gets the, the surface of the gourd ready for me to work on. And I come clear up to the top. Get the top of it real good. Now, 
on a birdhouse door, we're not going to take the top of them off. If you've watched me on previous videos where I take the top off to make a bowl out of the gourd. But we're going to leave the top on it because we'll make a wire hanger for the top of this to hang it up to the birds. Or if you want to hang this in the house, it's a decoration, you can do that as well. I even wipe my desk down because I've done that sanding on there. I don't want dust on my desktop for my work here. So we've wiped her all down real good. Now, we're going to want to put a hole in the gourd for our little birdies to be able to get into it to build their nest. And I do that right on the front of the gourd. I kind of size up the gourd. I set it down here on the, the desk and just say, okay, which, which way does it kind of want to lean? And, you know, wh where would we want to put our door in the, the gourd? Where would it center up the best? And right here looks like a really good spot. And I'm going to want to put a circle in there. Now, there's different ways you can do this. If you have circle bits, you can put a circle bit in your drill and just center it up and just hone a, a hole right there in the front of it if that if you want to do it that way. Um, I've got circle bits and I've got a drill and I could do it that way pretty simple. I'm not going to do it that way. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it kind of an old old fashioned way, sort of, kind of, you know, you you can cut them out with a utility knife if you're real gentle and and uh, easy with it. Um, but you don't, don't want to be chipping away, you know, if you're not taking a hammer and chisel to it. Uh, these are gourds and they will break. So what I'm going to do is I am going to engrave the hole out in it. And I'm going to start with, uh, with putting my circle on which I cut out of a piece of paper. I just used to sit the glue bottle down on a piece of paper, traced around it, drew it out, and then I uh, uh, cut it out with the scissors. And I'm going to take a pencil, and I'm going to draw around my circle. So you've got to, since it's, since it's, um, the gourd is, is rounded, kind of have to hold this down. You could tape it down if you wanted to, but... Then you got to figure out how to get your marks on around the tape. And I find it's just as simple to set this gourd down here. We can swivel it and just draw right around the paper. Make a, make a little line with your pencil on there so that you can see where you're going to want to cut. And it's a pencil, so it'll erase if you don't cut the line out. I just etch my line right around this circle on here. Now, if it's not perfectly round, once you, you cut it, you can always take your Dremel tool and sand it out so that it's a little rounder. It doesn't have to be perfect. But we're going to do the best we can to make it so that it looks good on here. Now, as always, when I use the engraving tool to start making my mark on this, I'm going to turn off the audio on the video so that you don't have to listen to the whir of that drill. But you see how I threw that circle right there on the front of it for the hole in my birdhouse. And... I've got my air compressor on. I got my bit in my my engraving tool. I've got my eyeglasses here, my safety glasses. So we'll slip the safety glasses on and we will turn off the audio here so you don't have to listen to this thing horror. And I'll be right back with you. Just watch me drill.
Okay, we've got the circle cut with my engraver. We pop it right off of there. And there it is. Now, it's dirty on the inside. You know, all the guts are in there because obviously this thing's never been open. So we got to clean the inside of it out now. That's part of the preparation. So, move things aside here. Now, I'm going to keep this piece because I can always engrave something on that or I can engrave it uh, and a leaf on it and then I can cut out the sides of it and make an embellishment out of that or an acorn or, you know, all kinds of different things. You never throw the pieces away. You can always use the scraps. Now, we got to clean the inside of this thing out. And, boy, it's dry on the inside. So, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to kind of chisel this dried piece of innards out of it. And then we're going to kind of sand out the inside. I got a special tool for that, a gourd cleaner for sanding out the inside. And we'll see how this looks. And, you know, it's kind of gross on the inside. You got the guts and the seeds and stuff in there that have dried out inside this gourd. But we got a cleaner out in there. We're going to make a pretty little birdhouse out of it. See, that's the, that's the stuff that comes out of it. Now, we're going to save all them seeds and stuff. We're going to clean all the, you know, the inner dried innards off of it and save the seeds because they'll go back out in the garden and grow more gourds. And I'll be doing a few gardening videos this year and show you how to grow some stuff. We get it all cleaned out on the inside, get all them big chunks out of there to start off with. In the back of it where I can't reach, take scissors, kind of break some of that loose there. Off the bottom. I know you can't see down in there because it's kind of dark for you, but you see here that I made results on the desk. <laughs> I got a mess of innards out of it there. Now, when I make these tools, and you can hook these up to a drill and put a drill down in your, your gourd and use these, but they come in different grits. And it's a round, hard ball. It's got like a sanding grit to it. And I'm going to take that and run that around on the inside of this board. Finish getting the innards out of it. And just scrape it around in there. Finish sanding it up. More dust coming out of it right there. Look around this opening that we've made in it. And that's getting it sanded out pretty good in there. I want to see it be pretty smooth, so I'm going to keep packing it around until I get it, until I'm satisfied with the inside of it. I'm going to put some paint to the inside of it there. And you need the surface to be pretty smooth if it's going to accept the paint. Taking it around and around in there. Then you dump whatever's in there out of it. And that's looking pretty good. You can see in there. I've got it sanded down pretty doggone good on the inside. Now, before we try to do anything else with it, we need to get this mess off the desk. And like I said, I'm going to be saving all that because I'm going to go through it and pull the seeds out. I don't know that you want to watch me do that. 
If you do, leave me a comment. Tell me, hey, I'd like to see how you separate them seeds out. I mean, there ain't much to it. Might make a quick little short video for that if you want to see it. But I'll rake all that off the desk here and get the dust out of the way. I'm setting the little seeds aside. And we'll get our gourd back up here. Now, there's the inside of the gourd. And you have to figure out what color you want to paint the inside of your gourd. You can, you know, paint them any color you want. I believe I'm probably just going to hit this with a little bit of, of tan paint. I'm not trying to make it, you know, garish or <laughs> harsh or, you know, anything like that. Nice natural color. That's way too much paint. Lord, you look at the mess I just made. When it decided to dump it out, it dumped it out. It wasn't kidding. So we're going to take some of that, put it back in the jar. I don't think I need near that much. So put the lid back on there. Set that bad boy aside. Then we're going to take our brush. And our paint, just go in there on the inside of it and just paint around. And I'll try to get this so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. It doesn't have to be, you know, a fancy paint job. Just trying to get the inside of it to be all one color. And You wouldn't need to make your hole that big if you don't want to, but I, I made it that big because I wanted to be able to get the tool in there and get it all good and cleaned out. We're going to be painting the outside of the gourd with some designs and doing some engraving and all that on the outside of it in another video. But uh, I thought I'd show you the basic preparation here for how we're going to do this. Now, maybe I will need the rest of that paint. She's a little thirsty on the inside. She's kind of sucking that up. I wish I hadn't pulled all that paint back up off there. All around the inside now. It's not like anybody's really gonna unless they pick it up to really inspect it They're not gonna see like all inside around the hole on it, but Hey, I'm doing the job and I want it to look nice. So I'm getting in all the nooks and crannies in there and making sure I got a coat of paint on stuff But you can see in there That I put a coat of paint on it Maybe I'll put just a little bit more because it needs a little bit more coverage in there. I love these silicone mats. These are so nice to, oops, wrong color. Let's try the, the one we started with. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's try not to dump out the whole bottle this time. There, that's plenty, I believe. Set that aside. Put the paintbrush to it. I'll even get around the, the rim of the hole there. I'd say we're going to be painting the outside of the gourd, so getting a little paint on the outside of it ain't going to hurt it all, though I'll probably wipe most of that off with a paper towel here in a minute. Funny how it's easier to see it on the camera than it is to actually try to look into it here. <laughs> it's like the light hits it just right so that you can see what's going on in there. And that's looking good on the inside. All right. Now, I'm going to set my paintbrush aside over here so I don't get paint all over everything. I'm going to get a piece of paper towel. I'm going to pick my gourd up, wipe around the rim of the hole where I put a little paint there. I'm not worried about getting it all off there because, like I say, we're going to paint it anyway, but... 
wipe this off right here. And in the next video, I'll show you how we're going to lay a design on there and engrave it, and then we're going to paint it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you like watching how we prep the gourd, give it a thumbs up. Share it on your social media so everybody gets to see how we're be creative here. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you as a subscriber on the channel and stay active. Uh, you subscribe to me, I subscribe back. And if for some reason I miss it, send me a, a message on a, a video because I see all my messages. Let me know that you subscribed and we'll take care of business. So with all that being said, uh, only one thing left to say, and that's Brenda's crafty. Be like Brenda.